Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We're continuing on getting these moons. We only need five more. So actually we don't need those flowers really. I can get one over here. There is two over there. And then there's the three moons over here. Well, up there technically. Actually there's four moons because there's another hidden one. So we're loaded with moons. There's so many, it's, I've said it multiple times, but there are so many moons, it's ridiculous. These things actually collect the hat sort of, and push them. There we go. Oh, these things can be a pain. There's a level later in this game, or technically it's after the game, where you, I think, do you not have Cappy or something like that? You don't have Cappy, and... You have to like, avoid those, like, rings of death, but there's a lot of them. Ooh. Let's transfer. Yeah. And it's bloody, it's very difficult without Cappy. Oh, avoid. Just like this, it can be a bit dodgy. Oh. Wee. Okay, avoid this one. And technically, I can just jump off now. Because there's like, there's no need to stay on this now. Other than get those coins, I got them. And it just drops. And then there's this, these guys are quite interesting. If you collect these guys, and then you can press this button, and you can see hidden things. Like there's a platform there, there's another there, and then those things are all connected. So... If you really needed, you could go up in this and then walk on those things with this guy. But I'm going to do a little bit of flexing and not use it. Just because I can. Yeah! Okay, and then there's one up here. Then, I believe there's one over here somewhere. Where is it? There it is, found it. Okay, now the last one is actually up there. On those towers. And up we go. There are multiple ways to fi like find out where these p paths are, but you can use this guy, you can use birds like this, you can also use Cappy. So if you're over here and you throw it and you can do this, shake it and it will go down the way. But if there's an invisible floor, it's, th it's just invisible, it's not like incorporeal, so you, can you can't make Cappy go down the way if there's something there. Bird out of the way. That, there's a bunch of ways to tell. Okay, there it is over there, and I believe it's just coins over in this one. Yep. Uh, if I tried to get over there, I would fall. Unless I was amazing, I don't know if I can get over there. But let's go the cheating way. And look, we're magic! We can float! But otherwise, that's how you get all of them. Let's get this little pyramid. Ooh, I almost slid off the edge. Woohoo! Ooh, that was a close one. I almost put a spike right in the face. Ba da da da! Moon shards in the sand. And this little cutscene that we're about to see. Da da! We open the door with that pyramid. Oh, and the ship's finally here. With oh, that's actually Bowser and Peach. Okay, let's get back over onto the mainland. Mainland. So as I said earlier, there are multiple ways to get moons. There's a guy over here 
that collects sheep. So that sheep over there goes in here. I think it's over here. Yep, a ring over here. And once you get enough sheep in there, you get a moon. And then, if you look over here, this thing here, this is actually the boss in there. So, sneak peek. Here's the boss, I believe. Well, uh, no, I'm actually incorrect. It's the boss in the hole over there. If I'm remembering correctly. Ooh, let's get, get coins off him then. But he drops down, he disappears eventually. And there's a hole over there in, in the sand, the sinking sand, that will take you to like a boss arena basically. Okay, let's get into the boss area and get into the heat because Mario is very cold at the moment. Okay, inside the inverted pyramid. Okay, let's. Hello, Bullbell. Take him and travel across. Get some coins while I'm here. I like how he's got a moustache and everything. Oh, we're getting attacked by another one. See if I do this. Yeah. Get some more coins out of it. And this bit is actually quite interesting. These arrows actually point to gravity. So I go here, as everything's fine, and I go, what? Oh, no, I'm flipped. Oh, now I'm flipped again, and again. Down we go. Up we go. And then, to crouch, you actually have to push upwards. You'd think, even though it's upside down, you'd still just press crouch, but no. You have to actually do that. Line this up properly so we get all the coins we can. And there we go. And we're outside. Right, hey, get these Goombas. I've actually, uh, oh, oops, I've actually been playing a lot of Super Mario Bros. 35. Because this is just to remind me of it. And it's been a lot of fun. I've streamed that a few times. I tried making a video out of it and then I just did terribly. It was, like, I was just in a full mood. So it didn't make for a very good video, but hopefully I'll get a video out of it soon enough. So you'll see some of that. Hopefully I'll win one of those. Hey, Perman! Secret of the inverted mural. So these are just, these are called murals, basically. So, oh, nothing here. Oh, actually, did I accidentally go around there or something? Oh, I did. Didn't even notice was that I went through the secret bit. Okay, let's get in. Oh, that bullet <laughs> shocked me. Ow. Better not do that. Better get some hearts back. So you can do this. There's secret bits in these like, murals as well. Oh, I, I literally was distracted and almost walked off the edge. Hello, bullet bells. Ow. That sort of worked. Hey, that's what I was looking for. Full health. Now, you can actually lure these guys in. And there's a secret up ahead, which is quite fun. I can go slowly or quickly, doesn't matter. But if I go here... Whoa! Look at all the coins! Yeah! So, that's, it's fun just to see those coins. Then if I open this, another pyramid! So just, they're literally everywhere. Like I could go use a blindfold in this game and I'd still probably get enough pyramids to leave the level. Saying that though, there are, there are people that have actually played this game totally blindfolded. So it is totally possible. Uh, -ah. There we go. Get out of here. Now there is a way to get all of these at once, but I am absolutely terrible. 
so it would never happen to me. But these like bounce towards each other and stuff like that. Ow. I meant to do that. And we're out. There we go. Nice and sunny. Let's get this heart while we can. And I believe, I'm not, I can't remember which one it is. It's probably this one. But if I go and collect this, literally, it's an moon. And I could jump off of this tower and go get those moons I'm growing. And then I could literally just leave this level. I don't even need to fight the boss. Which is ridiculous. But let's fight him anyway, shall we? Whee! Hello, Bowser. And the Brodos. Or the Brodos. Looking for the binding band jumps? Too bad. The boss has it now. And you guys ain't invited to the wedding. I like how I'm just giving every one of these guys the same voice. And I say the same voice, I think the accent changes every time. Oops. Ow. I meant to do that. Attack! Whoppa! Yeah, you can do that to get her down. You can hit this thing to get her down as well. So you don't have to wait until the big spiky guy. Ta da! Yeah, little spiky guy. And I think this is it. Yeah, these guys are. I'd say they're a little bit too easy. Like, they get, you actually see them again and they get a little bit harder. I'd wish the harder ones of these guys were actually the main ones and then they got even harder for there. Okay, let's get these power moons. And that is as technically done with the Sand Kingdom. You actually don't need to be here anymore. And we just shoot off. Okay, whoa! I forgot about this. The pyramid raises. And it's night time now. Which is quite interesting. So this is what this place looks like. After beating the boss. Instead of a couple extra moons. That raises, it becomes night. That hole is where you get the other boss and the uh, I'm, oh I can't actually remember there, there's a bunch of holes in this place where you can go and get stuff how oh, odd the inverted pyramid is floating and it's gotten so much colder is this more of that Bowser's doing I see he does make trouble doesn't he so now that I've collected all these I can just go here, throw this guy over here, and continue on. Or I could like collect that bird, go over there to that other boss, and collect these coins, and collect these other moons. But let's put all these moons back, shall we? Add them to our sail. Now we have. A green bit of sail and well no it's white now. Twenty-eight permans. Pretty simple stuff. And we can travel to either Uh oh, we've hit the preferable fork in the road. Which kingdom do you think Bowser went to? 
Now we're late. Or wooded. You can go to both. But let's choose wooded, shall we? I like wooded more than lake, so let's choose wooded. And so now we're actually shut off from the lake kingdom until we beat the wooded kingdom. I do, I do like wooded a bit more than lake. For some reason, I'm not a fan of water levels, really. So let's actually come out of this. Have a little explore around night time, Sand Kingdom, and see what this place is all about. Okay, so if you remember, oh, these are ghost guys that I've forgotten about. So these pop up now. We can get rid of by doing this. But otherwise, look, I finished growing these. Papa, and now they're all here. So I can actually. Unlock all three of these and look at that. Look at the special that look. So these are extra moons. I don't need to get these really. But why not? Why not get them? Now I'm not getting 880 moons in this playthrough. But there's no reason I can't get a few more. Ta da! So there's stuff like that. There's also these places. Which were actually here before, but now that we've not got an obligation to save the princess, let's go in here and have a little look about. Now, this is actually, I find it quite a difficult place to be, like doing all this bullet bill stuff. So, I'm going to do the shortcut way, which is not the best way, because you want to play the level. But, I find it just easier to get this bit done. By doing this. The secret bits. What? So you can actually, you can literally avoid the whole level by doing this. Just run around this bit. And oh look, there's some purple coins. And because it doesn't actually matter, once you've collected these, you have them. So I can do this. Yes, you lose 10 coins. But You've collected what you needed to collect. So, I'll do this again. And you'll see me do this a few times in this level. All I have to do is run over. And we can go collecting. So, this is another moon. And you, can't, you can make it back up from this area. But I'm, as I said, not fantastic at this game. Never mind, I am fantastic at I'm not really, but that was a bit of luck. So now that we're up here, we don't actually have to reset. Get these coins, which are a load. Which, it's obviously, you're meant to be able to get up here for some reason. And we can literally just avoid this. This is a pain. I always hit these walls. Because you have to do it with the bullet bill. But otherwise, you can just... Do, 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 do. We and here we have it. Bullet bell maze. Breakthrough. Oh, we're now on the roof. And it's just simple stuff like that. Little fun extras that you don't need to do, but are a lot of fun to do. Before we go over to Odyssey, I'd like to show you this. And then we'll head off to the, what was it you chose? The Wooded Kingdom. We'll head off to the Wooded Kingdom after that. But now that I'm up here. Ooh, broke a bit of ice. So around here, oh, there's another moon. So they do pop up and stuff like that. But there's a pl place around here where if I go, wee to here. I can talk to this big guy. Reading Traveler. And to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the thieving monster desire from this land? Now, I don't think you'd call this a riddle. I think you'd just call this a question. I believe this place was a ring, if I'm remembering properly. Yeah. You're correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Yes, it wasn't a riddle. That was a question. Anywho, proceed. And this guy opens. You can actually get in this place by clipping through the wall. That I've seen quite a lot, but I've not been able to do it properly. 
and you get into this place. Look at this place. This is amazing. Look at all the gold and coins. Way. And if you look at the wall there, that's actually a little bit of foreshadowing. Let's get this moon. I almost called it a coin. Sphinx's treasure vault. I said that. I said that weird. Sphinxes. 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 Okay. Let's head back to my precious Odyssey over there. And let's call it a day. For the day. Wow, what magic. We made it here in a second. And that shall be us for today, I believe. Look at that. Sparkly bird. So thank you for watching today. Again, this game is a lot of fun. I love playing this game. And I'll see you next time in the Wooded Kingdom. Woohoo! Woo 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 woo! Bye guys. See you next time.